most random things to say ever in the world so okay but that sentence is literally just my entire existence is just (laughs) if we could rename this podcast it would just be like the most random things to say yeah and that's like the epitome of the things i have to talk about today i'm so excited it's just oh i love that it's sitting with you what's its name oh yeah i don't know (laughs) oh okay let me look it up i need to look it up because i have also been wondering but i got it because it reminds me of charlie every time that moana's on the little pig reminds me of charlie so i had to get it i never watched moana it was funny because i was watching your florida video saying that moana was like the last you feel like movie from almost like childhood and i was trying to think of mine and i don't even remember what my my like last like disney maybe it was like toy story or something like that maybe toy story 3 you mean like when they go spoiler alert for toy story 3 if you guys haven't watched <laughs> it yet when andy gets rid of them tell me why just the yeah fact- that's the that's one with the evil bear right yeah yeah i think that's probably the last why like, does toy story get me every single time that i watch it because first of all in toy story yeah. 2 when you learn about how jesse oh my god i don't even know if i can say it like, it actually makes me emotional because then I start thinking about my toys that I, like, never thought about because they're yeah, living, I th- right? I think that's what it is. I think we have, like, a connection to inanimate objects. And when they put <laughs> feelings and emotions to them and they're sad, it's like, I hope my toys are okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're happy. When she talks about how much she loved, like, the girl that the girl that played with her and then the girl accidentally leaves her at the little, like, picnic and then she never sees the girl again. Okay. It's- that's why you can't can never get rid of any of your childhood toys. You just you no. can't. And I have like they're gone. Me too. But then Me too. I, started, I started thinking about too like in Toy Story three when Andy is going to college and he's getting rid of all of his toys and they're sitting there and they're so excited that they think that he's about to play with them again. It's really it's truly heartbreaking. You don't realize that these toys have feelings. Truly, yeah, because you grow up <laughs> watching Toy Story and then you don't realize that like for me as well when toy story 3 came out like i wasn't anywhere near that age yet of like going to college but it made me think though i was past the point of playing with my toys and i was like oh my god like you don't even realize that one day you like going to disney made me full on spiral because i was like no Mm -hmm. you did play with your toys for the last time and you never realized that you went to the park with your friends for the last time that you like played with your i can't even think about it Disney will do that to you. I think that's why people (laughs) that love Disney love it so much because it brings you back to a sense of childhood and like the magic of it like that's i think that's why people love it so much see and for me personally i don't think i could ever go back because i'm like you know what <laughs> i can't spiral <laughs> i can't dwell on my childhood no. <laughs> <laughs> i can't we can't unpack that right now it's for yeah. that's for a therapist to do no oh, perfect <laughs> <laughs> welcome back everyone to another episode of bookmark we are so sorry last week we were not here but that's okay because we have so much to talk about now we have yeah we, i feel like we haven't talked in the way we facetime but i feel like we haven't like no but i feel like know. we per- we purposely evaded topics that we would talk about yeah. on the podcast yeah we, were we like, didn't talk about anything related to topics we no. could talk about on here we'll buckle up i got <laughs> i got some topics for us that's for this why episode. i literally have a blanket i have this little pig <laughs> oh. i'm just gonna be pig and <laughs> i have my dough and i'm just i'm sat sit you're yeah, sad. I'm sat i'm, I'm sat, sat. I'm sat love. Do I'm you sat. what is that TikTok audio? Yeah. That's what I'm I'm it's referencing. A, yeah. What's your dote today? Do you want to share that first before we get into it? Oh love. <laughs> this coffee. is a huge cup of coffee that I've I was been gonna say on. that looks big. That's it a is. big mason jar. That might be bigger than your head. <laughs> <laughs> she said fill her up. You have you seen the TikToks of the um or I think I saw it on Reels actually. It was a girl had like a a glass purse but she yes. filled it up with coffee yes <laughs> that was so funny that's me when i say i have purse that's that's what i that's, mean that's the purse you have purse full of coffee i made um i made a matcha oh take me back uh-huh. been a year since we <laughs> met up and now you're mm-hmm. back in your matcha era because when i met mm-hmm. sarah in person she was like no to coffee it was always like no we yeah. have to go get a matcha we have to go mm-hmm. get a matcha and I'm back. She's back. The, the the bitch is back. Anyway, yeah, I made a matcha. I don't... Since I, like, loved my hot coffee, I just can't drink iced coffee right now. So I'm doing matchas for the time wow. being. Yeah. That's insane. I know. It's really good, though. I'm really loving it. Um, 
anyway also before i get into all my topics thank you to everyone who sent in the pitbull songs that you listen to and your homework for that i posted when i said like send in the song you listen to on the story i didn't realize like not everyone probably listened to that part of the podcast so people were just sending in the songs they're listening to <laughs> so i got uh, a, a whole list of some really good new music now but i did see some people listening to um great pitbull songs pitbull's following me and destiny around now they played it in my workout class this morning too oh my gosh i was about to say my gym also did the homework because when i walked in today mm -hmm. i didn't have headphones on they're playing fireball at seven o'clock in the morning <laughs> what a way to start the day i think it also, made me want to drink oh <laughs> at 7 a.m <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere people say i gotta drink uh, drink it, it. <laughs> why, why was that song stuck in my head the other night um anyway also are you being it's serious a, or are you like doing a call back to our conversation no yeah when we were on the phone <laughs> i was singing it <laughs> what did you think i was just talking about a different time no i thought that you were because remember on the phone i had started singing it as soon as me and sarah get on <laughs> facetime and then i was singing it and then i stopped and then sarah started singing it and this is something that sarah does i swear if you guys listen to the podcast you will tell i will like sometimes it gets cut out but i'll start the episode singing a song five minutes later sarah will start singing it and she always looks at me and goes i don't know why that song's in my head every, every time. single time and i'm like sarah fail. because i was singing it five <laughs> minutes ago i'm like where did this song come from <laughs> i'm just it's a voice in Destiny. the back of your head <laughs> <laughs> it's also a week of mourning because march 25th 2015 you know where you were when zane left the band so. I, that is so crazy that you said that because i learned that fact last night in oh the yeah video that i was watching <laughs> destiny <laughs> destiny sent me a picture this morning she said at 2 a.m she was watching like a deep cut like lore video of just one direction and like everything and just drama, on the picture yeah. yeah on the picture she sent me if you guys were like are into one direction or whatever it was of mr x like that whole fiasco that was like wow you really know about. everything isn't that crazy imagine real time when yeah. that was happening i came home from school freaking out it was literally probably a 10 year old on their parents computer that was like harry styles count your days i know sarah was sweating i know she was <laughs> i know she was literally like <laughs> i was freaking out i was on twitter like <laughs> refreshing all of the fan pages waiting for someone to give an update i don't know that was a crazy time but yeah i remember being in my i think it was my social studies class in high school i was sitting there and my friend came in and he was like sarah i was like what he's like did you i'm so like i'm so sorry to hear the news because he knew like my friend group knew that i really only thing i talked about oh i remember where i was i remember opening my twitter again and i just like what a time now, how much how much did you care about zane i thought my i thought someone died like he wasn't he's he wasn't my like i was my, oh, still nile like nile was always my like no, i was a nile girly but when zane left i was like <sighs> like true our unproblematic king also that i learned the only drama that he was in was like everybody was like let nile sing he's getting his <laughs> mic turned off and i was like oh my god and then also that ed sheeran of all people wrote a diss track mm -hmm. on nile yeah well zane was also i don't know if it was louis and zane why do i feel like it was but there was like a twitter beef with another boy band i don't know yes, if they talked yes. about that yes they did yeah. it. that was the first thing in the video i was watching it was on carly's video and she was talking about and i was like no this is so true because i can remember it too because i didn't get i was too young for twitter but i remember like there weren't social media managers because social media was so new mm -hmm. so celebrities were just straight up like going at yeah. each other on their twitter it was such a time ever i would have notifications on for all of them and whenever they would tweet like i would start replying because sometimes they would randomly reply to like fans and stuff like casually Ugh. yeah that was you crazy. were in it you were in oh it. you have no i was in it the yeah, fact that so. you had on notifications and you were like i'm waiting for a reply oh all the time that twitter is also i don't have <laughs> <laughs> wait was those balloons whenever destiny does like hand gesture sometimes our streaming service will like throw up something and she just did something and balloons just popped up i literally went like this like i need to stop talking with my hands i think is what they're telling <laughs> so you yeah but only see. your side my side never does it Aww. <laughs> is that charlie's lamb yes it's huge and you can just see it you guys can't see it in the camera angle but on our hey you yeah, that's a big lamb <laughs> it's a big getting 
like Cody Co used to do this joke that was like, I wish you guys could see this. Like, you know, like yeah. talking about something that you don't have the camera towards. <laughs> it's just like, I wish you guys could see what I'm talking about right now. Take the camera around. But the big yeah. M. Yeah, anyway, so shout out. I saw somebody say that Zayn has been listening to One Direction music oh. recently. I saw this last night. Yeah. I think someone, they were saying he's going to like go on tour or something, but he just came out with a new song, which is really, really good. Honestly, his first solo album after he left the band, I didn't really like love. Like I just didn't really like that kind of music. I don't just sit and listen to like I listen to it, but his new song is really good. And I think, I don't know where the audio came from him talking about it, but he said he's been listening to like One Direction songs. And when he goes on tour, like he would sing You and I, which oh, if yeah, you know I Zane's note in that. And you like, it's a- <laughs> what it is. It's, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like too yeah <laughs> it's exactly what he sounds like i just had to get um, them an audible, audible thing <laughs> but no it's crazy because in all the years since zane left one direction he's never really acknowledged it because it's been like it's he like had traumatic a traumatic form isn't it yeah yeah so him talking about it like openly and publicly is so crazy and that means like we're in a healing stage which means like one direction's coming back <laughs> Sarah somehow always gets here. <laughs> Listen, I believe it. Maybe not I'll, soon. I'll sit, right, I'll sit right there with you and I'll believe it too. Someone's got to come to the concert with me. 20, 2028. Is that the year we're, we're I'll, I'll put that out there. I'll put that out okay. there in 2028. I'll be 28 years old. <laughs> okay. I don't like that. Um... Anyway, can I tell you what happened? What I saw this morning. I mean, yeah, go for it. So I was driving to. I'm gonna send you the video actually because I took a video of it. I was driving to my workout class. Wait, I'm not sending it yet actually because I want to say it first and then you can watch it. But I was driving my workout class this morning, and when you get to a certain light, you can either go straight and take the back roads, or I can turn left and do like the highway. So I always do the highway because it's faster. But today I was like, "Mm, maybe I'll go straight. And as soon as I got to the light, I changed my mind. I was like, no. I want to take the highway it's quicker so i turn left go to the highway and like this specific highway that i take there's like usually a lot of cops on it there's like sitting in the middle so it's like normal that there's like people pulled over and stuff but i'm driving and i finally get to my exit and someone's pulled over but there's four cop cars behind them like lights on and everything four of them and all the cops are outside of the car i'm like oh that's weird so i just i go to my workout class and as i'm leaving i get back on the highway take that way home and I, as soon as I pull on, like as soon as like yield in, the same car still pulled over. Now there's like 10 or 11 cop cars, all lights on with the same car still pulled over. And I'm like, what is happening? Am I at the scene of a crime? I'll send you the video. It was crazy. Like all lights were on. People were just casually, we're all driving by, but like, it looks like, wait, just watch the video. It's crazy how many cop cars there were. It was like, what is going on? But like the guy was still in the car. Like no one got out of the car. Oh gosh, there, and there's people on the side of the road though all the cops do you see how many cops there are right behind that first yes. cop car i don't know what was going on i'm really curious and i'm hoping like it's like posted in like Wait. that town news or something they look like they're like because in this it's frame, like state police it's like not yeah. just like a yeah and they're they all look state like they're police standing on the side of the road like they're looking for something in the woods because they're right by right? that wooded area something's fishy is going on i was like shook how many cops like showed up and they're all like state police like so if i find out what happened i'll let you guys know i just thought that was no. really crazy who saw harry styles in the strand bookstore did you, you? Did? no on tiktok I, well yeah on tiktok oh. did i not send that to you have you not seen is this? it the one with the flowers no i don't know there's been a lot of pictures of him but i don't remember who he was with it wasn't he was recently with james Corden, but it wasn't him he was walking around the city which already on edge like why are you here and he went into the strand bookstore like there's like a video of him leaving the bookstore you know the one with like the you know the one one time that we're not in the strand (laughs) the one time we're always there (laughs) (laughs) it's just uh, when you're like at some when you've been somewhere and then you see like he's also there and i don't know because doesn't he like i've okay I've heard that he really likes the pickle shop that's like by the strand. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. Yeah, so I've, seen I've heard that when he's in the city, there. he frequents the areas. Also, I heard that he's in the city because I watched Taylor Russell's "What it, What's in My Purse," mm-hmm. and she was talking about how she's in a play right now in New York. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that may be why he's there. Yeah, 
he's also been on his break for so long i feel like he hasn't been in the city i feel like he usually like goes for like his usually when i see pictures from the city he's like on a run or something like east village but like he was in soho like over there i was like on i was like i need to head to the city i'll be in the city in april so maybe he'll still be there hopefully but i saw that he was at a party last night or something with james corden for his uh, oh, really? english friend oh i didn't That's see that a football yet. player no oh. i well, sent it to you the paparazzi oh. photos and he like completely has his neck turned this way they're like right in front of him and he like is not letting them see his face and he looks like he's sprinting for his life oh wait really i haven't been on i haven't seen i think it's like all, if it's all over my for you page i know it's all over sarah's for I'll, you page I'll get, yeah it'll get there oh yeah i see why is he running like that <laughs> <laughs> Aww. The way he's like completely turned around. No, because um, that would be me. If there's paparazzi, <laughs> I too would also just like break my neck the other way. Like as if people don't know it's Harry Styles. Um, yeah, I still get TikToks like once a day that he's almost done with his his new album, which is making me. And I every believe day. it because isn't it a thing? This may not be true, and this is just one of those things that I'm just assuming. <laughs> But isn't it because I do that professionally, if you guys didn't know, I just assume things with no facts. But isn't it like on your team, there's a certain person's job that they control some of the stuff about you put out in the media. So like they'll like tell like a source, but it's to kind of get people talking about it and to bring up hype and speculation around something like don't yeah, like a PR have stunt. to do it. Yeah. Like so yeah. it would make sense that this source because it's like way too like specific almost about his album this is the genre this is the mood of the album like yeah. i guarantee it's somebody on his team that is like putting these whispers out there so i think it's true all right that's one way to get me to believe it you just can you can say anything <laughs> do you think, I think that it's he's true too. still gonna do like you know his fashion at love on tour do you mm -hmm. think he still like dresses like that or do you think no well i feel like every tour he's had different Eras, styles like I if you yeah want. Or yeah, styles, like, if you will. St yeah, perfect word. Like, the one before this one, his last tour, or his first tour, completely different. Like, he was not wearing what he does now. And then the one before this one, the most recent one, he wore, like, his overalls and, like, his trousers. And then this one, he, like, went out of the box. And, like, every every date was different. But they were definitely, like, colorful and patterned and stuff. So I feel like the next one's going to be different. I cute little outfits. Oh, no. That was one of the best parts, like, seeing what he was going to wear when he came yeah. out. Yeah. They like eat. The outfits eat. Yeah. I refreshed Harry Florals. Like, that was like a full time job. Like, they're, you know who Harry Florals is? The Instagram yes. page? Yeah. Oh, so I would refresh their page like when Harry had a show. What a time. I miss it so much. I can't wait for him to be on tour again. Did you see Travis and Taylor are on vacay? Yeah, I saw they were in the Bahamas and then I saw them. Uh, at Nobu in Malibu but that whole entire situation annoyed me because I saw a guy on TikTok and everybody was speculating that she was yelling at him and I'm like if you guys look at that because there's also like the live photo that they posted of like her and she's like talking like this and you're just kind of catching her like she's like kind of throwing her arm out or something and I'm like if you guys think that that is yelling at him you guys never want to see me and my boyfriend's conversation because I'm just, she's like an animated talker. I feel like I'm talking a very with her animated hands. talker. Like, yeah, with your facial expressions and your hands and everything's just big when you talk. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, she's not yelling at him. This guy went on a rampage and he was literally like, and uh, I mean, he got what he wanted out of it because one, it was just for like likes and stuff. And he wanted to like stir up drama and like get people to stitch and do at him. Like it was one of those videos because he was like, Ooh, she's yelling at him. Like this is giving like, why the F would you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Like just saying stuff that's like, so, yeah, just like, making stuff up. I didn't see that. I need to look that yeah. One up now. Thank God. Cause I mean, thank God he didn't cause it was so annoying yeah. to even watch, but yeah. I, I never know how to feel because like the photos taken of them in the Bahamas, I see them. But I try not to like them because I just feel so bad that, like, they're trying to have a private moment and somebody's, like, zooming in with a camera, yeah. like, following them through. Like, yeah. I wouldn't, I would not want that. Yes. It feels more invasive when they're, like, on a personal vacation rather than them, like, walking around the city or, like, going to dinner. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's public. still paparazzi's annoying, period. I just think whatever but isn't it so messed up how we can say that paparazzi's annoying but then like we eat up the pictures that the paparazzi yeah. takes you know what i mean like it's just it's yeah, like it's one so of those contradicting. things that yeah when i find myself like liking the photos i'm like oh 
this is the problem this is why paparazzi still do what they do <laughs> and still harass celebrities yeah but yeah that's crazy like just the paparazzi like on the beach with them <laughs> like, it's gotta be weird it's insane but i will say so parasocial and i'm going to say it i know it's <laughs> parasocial but like sometimes if i like a couple and they're just dating so for example if you guys remember like a month or two ago i kind of had an anxious moment on the podcast whether or not tom and zendaya were still dating like i'll like randomly think about it do you remember when we were sitting in your car and yeah. i looked Emma at you Chamberlain? and i said yeah and i was like i don't think Emma Taylor and her boyfriend are still together kid you not was it like a week later that it got announced yeah, that, that they broke out. up yeah like you- so i'll think that sometimes and i was like "Ooh, i wonder like what taylor and travis are up to the next day all of those photos came out oh really yes you're like a psychic at predicting like when <laughs> when things will be put out like you yeah think you think of them before they're like photographed into the world well, no because even when i like went on the pod or like said something about tom and zendaya and how i was like scared the next week the photos came mm-hmm. out after like months of them not being photographed together next week photos came out i swear they're looking out for me they're like oh <laughs> destiny's on to us we need to like make an announcement yeah. and i'm like <laughs> well i hope harry styles team knows you're on to them so they can make an announcement soon well yeah no because i was even thinking about him and taylor the other day taylor russell that's her last name right mm-hmm yeah and then the next day i saw the photos of them out on the front steps of wherever they were staying yeah and people were saying that was staged but it literally looked just like they were looking for like an uber or something like they were looking both ways he had his phone out like i think he was oh. waiting for like a car or something like i don't think that sorry was that they just look high fashion and like they're shooting a gucci <laughs> ad at all times they're just like she is literally yeah. beautiful yeah like, they looked great yeah i know i can't relate to looking like i'm shooting a high fashion <laughs> ad at all times if that same exact paparazzi photo was taken to me i would look like i had resting bitch face i would look mm-hmm. like a mess <laughs> Yeah, and then people, I don't know what they looked up. I think the bag he was holding, the duffel bag. And, like, I love when people do this when they post the price. They're like, I forget that they're famous. Like, they're rich. Like, they're millionaires. I I saw somebody say. Like, just trying to buy the bag, but it's thousands of dollars. They saw somebody, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I love her outfit. And then it's like, I forget that these people are rich and, like, they're not just, like, (laughs) Levi jeans. Even Levi jeans are expensive. But it's like you look up somebody's jeans because you think they're cute, and then you realize that they're literally $3,000. So much money. I think it's so funny. Yeah, like you forget. Yeah, I always like think all about the it, Taylor's like, shoes at her uh, air shoe or Louis Vuitton. Yeah, yeah, or like her Super Bowl outfit. I remember someone posting. And like what's the black insane, little though, top. Is that you wouldn't think it was that much. No, I think that's why people like look it up to see, and then it's like, oh, I forget they're rich. Like this is not a fifty dollars t shirt. You know. I think I I did that with when she got seen out it was it around her birthday and she was wearing the kind of like moon dress like it was like a short the short dress and it had like a little moon and stars on it and i was like oh my god wait i love that dress <laughs> yeah babe you do not have taylor swift's budget i don't know what i was thinking instagram i opened emily henry's story i knew i <laughs> am a psychic literally i'm a psychic because i was literally about to tell you hold on because i'm gonna guess what you're about to talk about as you can guess said, the next about, one too okay because yeah i knew this. oh my god okay go we on. had to talk about it but i okay this is so me of a me thing to do but i opened her story this is the way what when she posted that the movie script was done and i opened it i was like oh why are they writing another beach read book because i thought it was oh, like no. did i send you it and then you said that to me you were like what is this and i was like what yeah. do you mean <laughs> i didn't understand it was like a script i had i i don't know why i didn't click i literally just thought someone was like rewriting beach read i was like why are they doing that but anyway she posted um or she reposted i think it was on saint patty's day a picture of paul mescal i don't know how to say his last name mescal Mescal? and i forgot the actress's name it was a selfie of them and it was like a little saint patty's like emoji on it and i started to spiral because i was like is this a casting for something she has so many movies like in process i'm assuming like she has like all of them becoming a movie um i think except happy place or i don't did book lovers get i think so i think book lovers people meet on vacation at beach read oh wow okay i know i was really only keeping up with beach read well yeah i think that's the one that's like probably first but i thought it was spiraling i thought it was being delusional i thought maybe she just reposted it because she likes them as actors but then people confirmed everyone confirmed they're also thinking the same thing 
And well, whoop. as soon as she posted it, because she had just posted about the script being written, and then she yeah. she like never posts stuff like that on her Instagram story. So I knew as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh okay. I know, but people don't like they're trying to figure out like which one they think that it'll be for. Like they don't know if it'll exactly be for like Beatrice, those two acting, or if she's working I, on another one. I think it's Beatrice because she's posting about that one, so it would make sense yeah. that she's kind of putting the. I maybe I'm just attached to the idea of Logan Learman being yeah. yes, <laughs> but I don't like Paul. And I, I yeah. recently have sent you a TikTok where I was like, okay, maybe I like, you know, like how the girlies love Paul. Like, okay, like maybe it's like starting to make sense in my brain. And then I was like, no, he is not Gus to me. I love she, the actress, she's in the bear and I love her. Like, I love her. Yeah, that's where I saw when I looked her up. Well, but then I say this, but there's a big but with a comma because mm-hmm. right before we filmed the podcast, it came up on my For You page of like somebody doing an edit and they put like a bunch of photos. They started putting in photos of him with like his little film camera and like she was doing little bookish stuff. And I was like, wait. Yeah. Maybe he it's will do up. justice. I think he will. Like picturing him say like, I feel overwhelmed. You exist. Like, Is he going to have actually, an American accent? I just read um, Butcher Learn Blackbird and the guy's Irish. So every time he would, I would read him speaking, I would have like Niall Horan or like Paul Mescal or someone's Irish accent in my head. I thought it was so funny. I also was going to talk about um, One Day, but you didn't watch or finish the book, right? No, I haven't. All right. We'll save that one for when the time comes. We're really nearing April. How are we feeling? How are we preparing for not only funny story, but the new album the time it's gonna like creep up really fast we have like less than a month right yeah does it come out the 19th the album something comes out the 20th and something comes out funny story comes out the 23rd 23rd yeah let me look up when the album comes out (sighs) yeah april 19th so this is first which is crazy we're gonna have the album for the book like what a great little combination actually there are so many books coming out in april like all of these so new releases many i'm sad i'm sad it's, it's gonna be april. a good month um, we have it's so the many. rule book wild love taming seven funny story um just for the summer just for the summer holly jackson's new book comes out this month as well yes um, there were a few other ones i think that like come out that i've just been looking at um but i'm sad i'm literally sad i'm ready to find my first five star of the year (laughs) in the fourth month (laughs) i feel like the april is is gonna be the month for you to find one yeah i have a i have a video idea that you guys can get excited for and it's (laughs) essentially like you know how we do the like this video ends when i find a five star it's Mm -hmm. kind of like that but i want to do since there are so many like i feel like both of our most anticipated releases like a chunk of them comes out this month Mm -hmm. the i'm i think i'm gonna make the video how many like five star search how many five stars can i find in one video and basically just reading all of them and because they're basically all of them are are like five star predictions for me so it's like let's see like how this actually i'm so excited yeah i i can't wait i literally need to find a five imagine imagine none of them are five stars <laughs> well that's what makes me like worried when you like go into it when you have like an anticipated five star like you feel like it's gonna be five star and it's not it's just it is so sad when it just ends up not being well, what you expected I feel like with emily henry specifically because i feel like that's what we're both the most excited for mm-hmm. well just i'm really excited for just for the summer and wild no, I'm ex- that's what i was about to and say all, and like, all no, the other ones we just <laughs> i feel like i'm so tired for all of them but i think for me because emily henry is like if you asked me my favorite author i think i would just say her every single time yeah um but for me like before happy place came out everything that she came out with or that i read was compared to beach read because beach read mm-hmm. had always like stayed my favorite when i read book lovers i loved it because i loved charlie lastra which is the guy from that book 
Um, but I compared everything to Beach Read. Nothing really compared. Now, Happy Place came out, and I feel like that changed the game for me. Like, I love Beach Read, but I love mm-hmm. Happy Place because I feel like you bring in the friend aspect, too. Like, that just did something yeah. to me within the relationship as well. And now, funny story, I'm like, it ha- like you're putting this up against Happy Place, but I've been seeing everybody yeah. say it's their favorite Emily Henry book. I, I've seen that, too, which is, it's, she really does, out, outdoes herself. It, her Every writing time. gets so good like every time she comes out with a new book you can just tell where she like genuinely kind of i feel like studies her craft and looks at kind of like stuff that she's done and tries to like do better depending on like the vibe of the book i don't know i feel like you also have to look at the vibe because i feel like funny story i don't get the vibe that it's going to be more emotional like i feel like happy place was very emotional and i feel like this one may be a little bit more of like it reminds me of people we meet on vacation where it's more rom-commy than like emotional Mm mm-hmm and so yeah, but she always I, I knows don't how know. to pull out the emotional parts. I uh, yeah for my my beach read reread this summer. Woohoo! I look I forward to it every year now. I I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for just for the summer because Abby mm-hmm. has won her covers eat every single time, but also so like cute. She does the same thing where it's so rom commy and fun, but she also oh, always has a side something. plot that's mm-hmm. like wow, okay, heart's broken. Yeah, she does that too. I'm so excited. I'm excited what for that. Is, and then Elsie Silver, it's just like fun little cowboys. This one's um billionaire. Billionaire, <gasps> billionaire brother's best not brothers well yeah, her brother's best friend or best friend's little sister. Yeah. I don't know oh, if yeah. It's, yeah, it is little I don't know the, the age difference, but I know it's little sister. I'm so excited. I love that cover so much. I literally, even if I, in yeah. a world where I would hate it, I th- which I don't think that world <laughs> exists, but I would just, I think, always love it because I love the cover so much. Stunning. Star, star, Stunner. S- show stopping. Show stopping. I'm going Stunner. to her, her book signing at the Ripped Bodice is in April. That is I'm so exciting. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I can't believe you get to meet her. I know. That's going to be so crazy. That I'm is so excited. It's going to be so much fun so much fun and then what is is a rule book part of what's it called the cheat sheet or is it its own sports romance i think it's its know? own i think it's its own like isn't it fake fiance did i make that up yeah it almost really reminds me of the cheat sheet because it's like she's his sports agent and they went to high school together or something oh my god i may be making this up but this is like all from memory that they have like a history and he's a football player and she like manages him or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's she works for him, but they they've been like best friends in the cheat sheet. Yeah. But what I like liked about cheat sheet, which I know it's not everyone's fan favorite, of hers, but I liked the um, like the football players, like his friends, when they like got involved and they were like all buddy buddy with her. I just thought it was so fun because she's like the ballerina. It was cute. Oh, I loved that. Like the when you read the book and you like find out why it's called the cheat sheet and it like involves his yeah. friends like it was so cute it was, so, it was fun. i don't care what you guys say those that book is so cute i don't even care if you say it's cheesy it's cute and it's fun it definitely is giggling. cheesy yeah i love her books she's that one i'm excited for the rule book what else was there i'm excited for well i actually haven't read i only read um good girl's guide to murder also wait i'll get to that in a second um I haven't read Five Survive yet, but I'm really excited for her new book. I'm in such a thriller mood, so that one's going to be fun. I loved Five Survive. Like I know. I need it. to get it. It was like the thing that I always said that I really like about Holly Jackson is that she does put her books like in young adult but sometimes you even like kind of close the book for a second and you're like i cannot believe she just like wrote about this in a young adult universe like the fact like she goes there like there's like a line yeah. that you feel like maybe you just kind of either will like allude to something or you won't talk about because it maybe feels a little bit more like gory or like a little bit more kind of raw for a thriller in the young <laughs> adult. and she goes there yeah she's not afraid she- to do some things I'm in her not books. Afraid afraid to take a stand. I can't believe we're singing Eminem on this podcast. That's, oh, I, that's true. Listen, I'm a 50 Cent stand. <laughs> oh my god! When I grew up, I my dad like only played Eminem, so I have a 
backlist of Eminem songs in my brain. Oh no, stored my somewhere. Brother loves and has always and so does my dad they love Eminem grew up listening to Eminem I don't Mm -hmm. like Eminem's music at all it's just (sighs) not for me I can't do it there are some songs like maybe his like earlier music on our runs Chris I tell him he please play music like through his phone because I don't bring my phone because he likes to track it he started playing 50 cent he was like maybe this will help (laughs) oh the fact that he knows I was like yeah he's like I know well what day was it? Doesn't it depend on the day if you're listening to 50 Cent? I told him it was only leg day, so it's like kind of hard to run to because I run to throwbacks, but he doesn't like to run to throwbacks, so we're kind of trying to compromise on the music. Oh, okay. He said he'll make a playlist soon, so we'll see what's in there. Olivia Rodrigo's Spilled album, Spilled Deluxe. You know, oh, absolutely. I was Loved so excited because I feel like when... It's the same thing we talked about, like when Medicine still hasn't been like studio version, but, she, but he sings it on tour, Harry, but... She was singing Obsessed on tour, and, and she finally it wasn't out yet. It. It's so good. I'm going to be listening to that song all summer with my windows down. Mm-hmm. And also, okay, it's all over TikTok right now. Don't come for me, guys. I do not like the song So American. I don't like the like. Oh, really? Oh, I, I don't like it. like it. Like, I do you know? I don't know. I like it because I saw a TikTok and it said the girlies in 2015, if this song was out like for the fan fix, like it would have eaten. Cause he said, that like, makes a so- lot of sense for you. It makes a lot yeah. of sense for you. Like Once it you start does. using that. Yeah. But I can see um, what you mean. It, I don't know. I just don't, I don't like the vibe of the song, I guess. I think like, cause I was trying to listen to it multiple times in the car. Sometimes you can't listen to a song once and then say you didn't like it. You yeah, have to let it marinate. Yeah. So I've been doing that. And but I love Stranger. I love Obsessed. I loved Afraid of Scared of My Guitar. Oh, Scared of My yeah. Guitar is like me with my notebooks. Like what <laughs> is written in my notebooks? I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I just sit in my room and I sit on the ground and I listen to Scared of My Guitar. And I'm like, yeah. Mm, a little relatable. That was like That's the- a little bit too deep. <laughs> she, she knew what she was what she was doing with that one. The which one is it with the like acoustic guitar that one took me a little bit to like like i didn't like it the first time is it scared of my guitar or is it stranger i think it might i don't know it could be either one of them but it might be stranger i love stranger and maybe it's that one. Oh, i don't even think about that song I'm, yeah i'm honestly not sure but one of them but now i love it um stranger, yeah, stranger is crazy because you can tell it's still about oh my god i almost said josh richards that's just not true. <laughs> that's I, i'm just blanking on his name right now um josh joshua bassett thank you so much um that but it's kind of beautiful because it's like you know uh oh my god what was the first album called sour <laughs> sour oh my god Wait. I was, sour yeah yeah and sour was all about kind of like you know her being deeply emotional and hurt and then I feel like stranger is like full circle of like yeah like this sucks but like it's fine like I'm at a place now where I can appreciate what we had and I can look back at it fondly and I'm fine because like you if you don't like desert like basically like you don't deserve me it's fine I'm, I've moved on I'm like yeah I love that I love it yeah that song me chills because she says like no you're a stranger I know everything about and that always yeah and then of course you know I'm driving I'm listening and then I'm relating it to a bunch of different book characters <laughs> and you can imagine who what you can imagine who <laughs> it's what you do when you listen to a song also like when artists come out like breakout breakup albums it's like hard to kind of relate sometimes so I'm always no, thinking yeah. of just book characters I'm like well, this makes so much sense that is so crazy because literally this morning I was driving and I literally was like, I'm either going to talk about this on the pod or I'm going to make a TikTok about my random thoughts lately that because I've been listening to Friends by Gracie Abrams and why can't we, you know, we can't be friends by Ariana Grande. Um, and I'm like, I can't relate to the songs, but I will relate them to the fictional characters and then act like I am that fictional character yeah, and then, and then I it will hurts. relate it to me through that. I'll think yeah. in the mindset of this character and then I'll listen to the song and I'm like, yeah, that, that hits. And then I spiral because they're not real. And I'm um, the delusion in the head of like relating the songs to like a fictional couple with a fictional breakup and fictional problems. <laughs> so crazy. No, it, like it's <laughs> insane for sure. Like I think if I would have looked at like somebody who doesn't read and uh, I would go, yeah, like when I'm in my car, I just kind of think about like Julian hates when I listen to the song and like I am him. They would look mm-hmm. at me and they would be like, oh, so you definitely need to seek some therapy 
For sure. <laughs> I feel like that's in your future. No. I all have what she's having is what you should be saying about my delusion. <laughs> I love listening to songs and relating it to book book characters. It, why does it hit harder? No, it does because I mean I I think that if we could relate to those songs, obviously they would hit hard. But since you can't, and then you relate it to an outlet that then you can relate. Yeah. In relation. Yeah, because like my last breakup was high school. Like one of my, I am, I'm on the stranger song now. I am far yeah. past that nothing to really relate to that and there, there's been so much good music come out lately too sweet by Hozier. oh oh my Wait. god i was so nervous too because when it blows up on tiktok i get like not annoyed with it but like when i hear it so many times i'm like not as like not that i'm not as excited but like i just i've heard it so many times on tiktok before it came out you feel like you've listened to it already yeah ah oh. not not true his vocals so good oh my god his vocals it's like they speak to my bones like i feel so like good. my bones shake <laughs> when i have that song <laughs> you feel it in your soul no like actually like just even his song too like when he builds up to the chorus in that song holy mm-hmm. crap like he's just like it's it's that's so a, good a song to put it on makes repeat me, like, clench my fist <laughs> like it's so good and the I thing is like- is that i wanted to feed into the lore about britney and him and the song being oh. about her <laughs> It was so funny too because it's like on his post. It's not just on like TikToks about the song. No, they like, were literally like, going to his post and she's <laughs> met him and spoke to him and like they were going and telling him like this <laughs> about Britney, isn't it? Yeah, and he's definitely, I, I feel like he's probably seen. Oh, absolutely. At least one comment. So funny. I also feel like he wouldn't be like mad about it. Like I think he would laugh at it. No, I think he thinks it's funny. He's like a girl's girl, a girl's guy. <laughs> oh my God, I've been yelling I, this entire time. And I don't realize it because I have on headphones. <laughs> You're screaming into the mic. No, I am screaming. And it's not even about the audio level. It's about that, like, my family's in this house and they've been hearing me <laughs> scream. Why is that? Not that it's embarrassing, but it's like when you notice that you've been screaming. That was like when we were on FaceTime and I, we were talking so loud. And then I realized it's quiet in my whole house because everyone's sleeping. My brother's next door to me. Walls are thin. They've heard everything. Oh, my God. No, like... When I just said, yeah, and then I was like, no, that's the volume I've been speaking at this entire time. <laughs> Your whole house has just been sitting and listening to the podcast, but only from one side because they can't hear me. <laughs> that's the best part. The house just thinks we're both just talking to ourselves for an hour or two. Do you remember it's my favorite when, part. The first time, like when we first started the podcast and you would have to like send me your video and then Mm -hmm. you like we lost it the first time that we like had to watch just like the clip because it just looks like it looks manic it looks manic when i send destiny the clip that you see of like my side it's from my camera so i send it to her over to her and when i'm not talking she doesn't have her side of the clips yet so it's i'm just like this and it looks like insane it looks like i'm just like talking to nothing this microphone me holding it i do just want to start breaking out into song somebody turned on some karaoke that looks like it's hooked up to a karaoke machine no (laughs) 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 i want to do karaoke so bad oh we should do it oh i'm still (laughs) screaming i am still (laughs) screaming i think we should do karaoke there was a we went for Danny's birthday in the city. There's a little karaoke bar where it has like the rooms for like just you and your friends to go in. It was so God. fun. Oh, yeah, thank God. I wouldn't, nah, I wouldn't. Actually, maybe I would with someone in like a, a place that's not like little rooms, but it was so fun. I don't know who made them, but in Magnolia Parks Universe Instagram has them linked. And you can, one is which Magnolia Parks Universe girl are you? And then the other one is who is your MPU boyfriend? which okay. i think could be interesting okay <laughs> which one do you want to do first um can we do what girl first one you've had a rough day you immediately go shopping on new bond street make a cup of tea with two sugars cook a lavish meal for the people you tolerate or love put sweats on and read a book drop by your best friend's house to distract yourself with their problems put sweats on and read a book see i'm between that and go shopping but I know that I couldn't go shopping on New Bond Street because isn't that like all the designer stuff? Like, So I'll say put sweats on and read a book. All right. Okay. You're going out with the full box set. Which outfit do you choose? Okay, um, so there's four outfits. There's um, a dress. I think I'm... 
I think I want to go with the black dress with the black sweater and the black the black outfit. I wish I could say none of these, but I think <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say the one with the green Birkin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's popping Pop out. Pop of color. <laughs> um, which sentence sentence best describes your love life at the moment? I've been in love with the same boy since I was 15. What love life? I'm too focused on school and work to be in a relationship right now. Currently torn between two guys. I can't seem to make up my mind. I'm in love with the guy who thinks we're keeping it casual. Well, well, I wasn't 15, but I'm picking that one. Yeah, same. Your birthday's coming up. Which destination are you going to choose? Lake Como, Paris with my besties, Isle of Anglesey, or somewhere tropical like Bali? I'm going Lake Como, I think. No, so am I. <laughs> we're going to get the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> What song makes you emotional when it comes on during shuffle? Rumble slash Fred again. If the world was ending, homesick, Texas Hold'em. Um, that, that one makes me want to dance, Texas Hold'em. I think I'm going to say homesick. By Noah Khan. I'm Sam Fender. None of these make me emotional. <laughs> but I guess I would say if the world was ending. Okay. You're involved in some drama. What's it about? Someone was being an asshole to your friend and you stood up for them and now everyone is taking your side. There's rumors about you being easy, but you embrace your sexuality and aren't easily ashamed or easily shamed. You have a very public fight with someone you care for, and this isn't the first time. The only drama you have is because of the other people in your life. It really has nothing to do with you. I'm between the someone was being an asshole to your friend and then the only drama you have is because of other people. Yeah. I'm going to do the only drama you have is other people. I'm going to do somebody who's being an asshole to your friend because I am the friend that like I pop off quick if, like, I feel like there's something going on with somebody else. Um, oh, this one's deep. <laughs> <laughs> What's your relationship with your parents like? I'm definitely okay. the favorite child. Non-existent. Someone else raised me, and I'm thankful for that. It's normal, you know, some ups and downs, but parents are people, too. Not a very parent-like relationship. More like two people who know me. We don't have to give our... We don't have to publicly say our answer for this one if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to not publicly say, but I'm going to pick. <laughs> It's just your typical Tuesday and you decide you want a new car. What are you yeah, driving off relatable. the lot with? Mm -hmm. An all black Mercedes G-Wagon. Drive. I prefer to walk or a town car if I must. Something fast and sporty but not too flashy. Just a little flashy. As long as it's running and can get me where I need to go, I don't really care about cars. I don't really care about cars. Like I would say a G-Wagon. I, I do want the G-Wagon. Which quote for MPU gives you the most feels? Which quote from the MPU gives you the most feels? I know your freckles too. In another life, I reckon I could have loved you. <laughs> Give me a second. He laughs, and for some reason, it sounds like I'm ringing the doorbell of the home I grew up in. I, I feel like that's it. one Sarah's going to pick. <laughs> Sitting next to him saying nothing feels like taking off a corset, a great undoing, if you will, and he will in every way. Oh, just kidding. Okay. Did you pick one? I know which one you picked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's, I mean, it's obvious. Yeah. Okay. I picked mine. What's your greatest fear? Oh, okay. That everyone oh. I love will die. That, <laughs> that people I love won't be okay. That I'm fundamentally unwantable and abandonable. That I've missed my shot and now it's too late. I gotta go with the first one. I'll go with the third one. The okay. first one is also... The second one is like a big one, but... Oh, okay. what's your go-to brand? Just simple. What What <laughs> are we always wearing? There's Chloe St. Saint Laur Saint Laurent. I want to say them with that accent. But no, Miu Miu, Marnie, and Balmain. I think I'm going to go with Cole. No, I'm going to go with Miu Miu. Uh, then I would go with Balmain. Um, a night out, what are you drinking? A margarita, champagne, a good red, orange wine, or water? I'm going to pick orange wine. I'm going to pick water because I have never drank any of those. In a romantic partner, partner what matters to you most? That both get to be yourselves in the relationship, that you get along with one another's family, that they're emotionally well regulated and responsible. Loyalty. The first one. Yeah, I don't need, really care about the family thing. Um, yeah, I'll pick the first one too. All right, you're having a quiet night in. What are you putting on the TV? Euphoria, Bake Off, Love Island, or Friends? Oh, Love Island. Friends, 100%. Oh my gosh, who did you get? I got Bridget. I got Magnolia. <gasps> no way queen oh my gosh Aww. now are we gonna take the boyfriend one yeah let's do that one one is crucial for the both of us three words to describe your dream man's personality 
Charismatic, cheeky and kind, steady, protective and sweet, life of the party, funny and dominant, sarcastic, trustworthy and loyal, powerful, selfless and protective, strong, stoic and passionate. I need to like think about these words. <laughs> Man, charismatic, cheeky and kind really sticks out to me, but so does steady, protective and sweet. But then again, I feel like I don't need somebody to be protective of me because I'm very protective of myself. Um, I'll say charismatic, cheeky and kind. I don't know which one I, I want to pick. Now, these words are like not wording in my head. I did the same one. You and your boyfriend are headed out for a date. What is he wearing? Okay. Well, not Birkenstock slides. Yeah, I don't like that striped t-shirt. I think I'm just going to do the t-shirt and jeans. I hate the Birkenstocks in the first outfit, but I'm going to pick that one because it's just plain. What is your boyfriend's dr your boyfriend's dream date? Taking you shopping to get you whatever you want. Seeing you happy makes him happy no, and no expense will be spared. Going out with you, showing off how much I love you with some mild PDA, and then going home to cuddle in bed while we watch our favorite show. These are long. I know. <laughs> something something laid back, but with every little detail thought out ahead of time to make it the most special make it the most special for you. Picking you up at your doorstep with a bouquet of flowers and letting you choose where we go and what we do. Taking you to the VIP section of my newest club and making sure you experience why the bartender was named best bartender in London. Closing out your favorite spot, museum, restaurant, store, and ensuring all attention is on you as you're waited on hand and foot. Then afterwards, we head back to his place for extracurricular activities. Something like that. the third one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is, I'm just thinking too, like, I don't need to be the attention. I don't need that. Yeah. Your boyfriend got into a fight. What was it about? Your dad did something on call for and he couldn't help but step in. It was his best friend over you, but he got over it quickly. Someone looked at you too long and then made an obscene comment. Someone disrespects your best friend, and to him, that's just as bad as disrespecting you. He didn't start the fight, but he did finish it. I don't even remember what it was about, and neither does he. Someone got on his nerves, and he was tired of them running their mouth. I'll say he didn't start the fight. Yeah, maybe I'll do the, the he. someone disrespects your friend. That's just as bad. You and your boyfriend are sitting at the bar waiting for your friends. What does he order to drink? A hey, top shelf scotch. All right, I'm going to go an old-fashioned. Your boyfriend just bought a new place. Which one most closely resembles it? I picked the dark one. <laughs> Something he does that makes you go weak in the knees. Silently nods to let someone know they're, they're in his seat. The okay. way he looks at you is enough to drop your panties. When he <laughs> smiles at you in a crowded room, that alone gets you going. His steadiness and kindness in moments of stress. Seeing him use his authority to get stuff done. His hand on the small of your back as he leads you into a room. Our secret moments in a crowded room. When he smiles at you in a crowded room. <laughs> I'll say the last one because I, I love in a book when it's like he puts his hand on her back. I don't know why I'm always like imagining it and it seems like something elegant to do. Um, okay. What is your boyfriend's core fear? That he's not needed, that he won't be chosen, that he won't maintain the family legacy, that he'll lose the ones he cares about, that he'll be seen as weak, that he'll never fall in love with someone who's available to me. I don't know. I'll just say that he'll be seen as weak. Um, I don't know. I'll just do that. He that he'll lose the ones he cares about. Maybe that one. Your boyfriend's go-to brand, Stone Island, probably. Don't care for the brand as long as it's black. Lately, Palm. I don't know what any of these are. Me either. Okay, I'm going for don't care as long as it's black. Cause I. Had it. Oh, mm. that was the last one. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm picking. I don't know a random one. Uh. <laughs> i literally got jonah i got christian <laughs> the silence speaks of volumes the silence is no like truly when they say silence speaks volumes it's right here i wish i, I kind of wish i got henry anyway <laughs> i'm literally going on tiktok right now <laughs> yeah that's about time where's charlie with our cue I know she's she's sleeping today. She's out on the. I think this is her nap. Go for her. We don't record this early. Yeah, we usually and record so, hours after this. Yeah, you know. she she's she's sleeping. But what time is it? It's lunchtime. I know that for sure. I know that's what I've been thinking about. I'm like, it's lunchtime. I need to go down mm -hmm. and get my lunch. So 
with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of the pod i feel like there's a lot of stuff that happened in the past week news wise for us to chat about so yeah um just a word to everybody in the social media atmosphere keep that coming um (laughs) we would love more material to speak about so that you guys keep on coming back and keep on rating the podcast five stars keep on following the youtube podcast instagram our instagrams our youtubes our tiktoks whatever you want truly and we hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you thanks bye bye